I definitely should not be doing this right now because I'm definitely at work, but it's fine. It's fine. Um, so I, this is the start of another vlog. This is the start of the vlog. Um, I'm hoping that this will be my first five star read of the year. I haven't had any five star reads yet. Um, except for Magnus Chase. It's been a hot minute since I've had a five star read. And I've read the first like two pages of Children and Blood of Bone. It's looking good. It's looking good. Hey, hello. Um, so I just got off work. Um, I was reading Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Um, I just started, I'm like 100 pages in and oh my god, I have so much to say about it. Like this is definitely going to be filled with spoilers because like it's so good. Um, but I'm going to go and eat some dinner and read some more because I can't stop. It's amazing. I have so much to say. Like I literally have seen nothing that has happened like I've, I've seen none of it coming like every like twist and turn that's happened has been like such a surprise like it's amazing <laughs> Oh man, okay. I am living my best life, I really am. I have my rolled ice cream, which is delicious. Um, I love it, it's so good. I ate Korean food for dinner, that was also delicious. And I just like, I sat by myself and I just like read. And like, honestly, okay, we need to talk about how Children of Blood and Bones really just goes after the Europeans for colonization. Because like, it's amazing. Honestly, like, the colonist themes are just, like, unreal out of this world. And, like, the pain of losing your culture and being oppressed by these people who are not like you is, it's palpable in this book. And the way that Tomi writes it is really just, it's astounding. It's, I went to CVS and I got some sticky notes because I think I'm going to start it again. And... I'm gonna sticky note all my favorite parts because like it's just it's unreal it's so good um yeah I just like can't recommend it enough and I'm only 150 pages in it's amazing uh so I'm a piece of trash who has no impulse control so we're gonna do a mini haul so this all started because uh this came out Kirby Star Allies for the Switch and my normal GameStop that I would go to was completely sold out of it like they did not have a single copy of the game so I had to go to the mall in like the next town over to go to the GameStop there to pick it up and if I go there like and if I go to that mall like they have a Schuler's books which is like great and they have used books there and like of course I'm gonna go just like look around like hello it's me it's your girl uh so i'm trash who has no self-control um i bought game of thrones clash of kings and a storm of swords all in this nice like giant floppy paperback like look at this amazing I just like I couldn't help myself I've been looking for these editions of these books for forever because like I hate I have them in mass market paperback but like I've given those versions of it to my sister and my dad because like I hate them I hate reading mass market paperbacks and I don't want the hardbacks for like whatever reason in usually I love hardbacks but like in these ones I just really wanted just like these giant beautiful floppy paperbacks and I found them for nine dollars each so I bought them and then I also had to stop at CVS and get these so I can start marking up my copy of Children of Blood and Bones without actually like physically marking my book because uh I'm not a monster so yeah 
So that was kind of all I wanted to show you guys. Um, nothing exciting happened today. It's St. Patrick's Day, and so like at six o'clock, the people in my hall started just blasting Scottish music, and I'm like, couple of things, ladies. Uh, first of all, like it's six a.m. Like you're not the only ones that live in this hallway. I like just like you're like up here. Like I'm gonna need you like down here, okay? Just like shh. And then like it's St. Patrick's Day. You were playing Scottish bagpipes. Get yourselves together. And that's just I mean like that's it. That's all that happened today. And then I got up and I went to work. And then I went and I ate Korean food for dinner. And I read and then I got ice cream. And that's it. That's all that happened today. Uh, I knew I'd read a character like Inan before, but like going through and like rereading it the second time, like after we get introduced to him and his like the first chapter that he appears in, low key reads just like Joffrey Baratheon. Like, low key. And like it goes away fast. Like it does, it goes away. But like the first couple of like pages of his first chapter where he's like talking about his mom. Like, yikes. <laughs> a concept. So, okay, so you know how, like, people have, like, finstas? Like, but they, like, block everybody. So, like, does it really count if, like, nobody really is seeing this? Like, I personally am a really big fan of my embarrassing myself on the internet. Like, it's really fun. Um... And so, like, I think if, like, if you're gonna do it, like, you should just go big. And we should just start making, like, F YouTubes where, like, you just, you make a YouTube channel and then you just, like, spill all your tea on it and then, like, everybody can watch it. It's on the internet forever. Like, personally, I think that's a great idea. <laughs> so, apparently over spring break, they got new chairs in the study lounge in my hall. And I'm living for it. Like... <laughs> They're so comfortable. I'm moving in here. Like, I'm never leaving this room. It's amazing. Um, so I'm trying to get some morphology homework done. I have an assignment due on Wednesday that I just started today. It's fine. Um, but, like, I'm just, like, I'm not feeling it. And, like, I'm kind of confused. So I'm going to have to ask my teacher about it tomorrow. But it's fine. I'll live. Um, so I'm gonna keep reading. Um, I don't have a whole ton left. I have like 150 pages left. Um, I've been tabbing it up like nobody's business with quotes and issues of race that I thought were really interesting, depictions of colonialism, depictions of, or like, allusions to colonialism, colonialism allusions to slavery, just like things that I thought were really interesting and really well done. Um, I've been living for this book. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. I'm absolutely in love. It's probably the best book that I have read this year. And like, that beats out a Rick Riordan book. Like, my channel is called The Cabin Six Books. Like, that's huge for me. Like, I adore this book. It's amazing. It's getting a little insta-lovey. Like, but it's not bothering me. Like, normally I hate insta-love. Like, that's, like, one of my most hated tropes. Like, usually I, like, can't stand it. I'm like, come on, guys. Um, but Inan and Zeli are super cute, and I, like, low-key, like, really, really ship them. Um, but it's fine. Like, it's cute. It's amazing. I love it. <laughs> I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And, um, Amira and Zane, Design. I don't speak Yoruba. I'm so sorry. I'm basing these off of Swahili pronunciations because, like, I do speak a little bit of Swahili, like, but no Yoruba. So, like, it's fine. <laughs> um, but, you know... Um, like, they're also so cute, and, like, the romance in this is just, like, really good. And, like, I know that that's not the point of this novel. Like, I know that this novel has, like, deeper themes, 
but like it also has romance and so like it's kind of just like it's like right on its like just like gliding into five stars you know like really easy like Tomi Adeyemi would really have to mess up these last 150 pages for me to give this anything less than like a six out of five stars if a literal single person dies in the rest of this book I will never recover like I just read a line and like she's promising death but like I'll never get over it. I'll never forgive you, Tomi Adeyemi, if you kill literally anyone. I look like I'm crying. <clears throat> I sound like I'm crying. I'm not, I promise. It, there's just really bad lighting in here. Um, but like, I just wanna talk about how like, I just got to a part where like, the characters just like, really open up about their fears and they kinda take a step back and they're like, what are we doing? We're on this quest to change the world, but what does that mean? What does changing the world mean? What does that mean for humanity and our kingdom? And what if it doesn't turn out the way that we want it to turn out? And I thought that that was really cool because that's like that's not really something that happens in YA novels ever. It's always just the protagonist just goes headlong into whatever they're doing. Whatever the problem is, they just fix it. And they never really think of like what the potential consequences could be and there never really are consequences but like i just this is really i really liked that she decided to do that that she decided to put that doubt in here because i thought it just made it really real and really authentic so i <clears throat> i just finished children of blood and bone and uh i'm shook i I have no words basically just like I don't even know if I'm gonna do like closing thoughts for this just because like I don't know if I can vocalize everything that I'm thinking everything that I'm feeling about this book but like if I don't and the video just goes up like this just vlog style completely with like no sit down portion just know that like I love this book like I'm rating it five out of five stars like I think everybody should read this book it's so powerful and so potent and it's just it's one of my new favorite books of all time so